ability to produce a truly safety, uh, that are truly safety critical. Despite this, we are not aware of any key efforts or initiatives in FAA to emphasize and re-energize the safety culture that once existed. We do understand that you've talked about to you, staff, about not rushing the process of underground of ungrounding the MAX, for instance, and emphasizing safety first. But has FAA hired safety experts from outside aviation industry to take a fresh look at your processes? And have they begun to hire more human factors experts, as, as some reviews have suggested you should? Have you personally sat down with the FAA managers and FAA technical staff in their Seattle office to hear their recommendations in improving FAA and their concerns about uh, oversight over, of Boeing? Uh, I'd like to know what you've done to address safety and oversight issues at FAA. Well, thank you. It's a, it's a great question, and I actually welcome the opportunity to, to respond. Uh, on my first day um, at the agency in my first town hall, I talked about the importance of just culture, which means that uh, we need to have a systematic way for employees to bring their concerns forward and we'll have uh, better uh, thought through solutions. We can't have groupthink. Uh, we've got to have we've got to have honest debate uh, as we make uh, these decisions. And my experience in the airline industry is that those those that kind of construct is extremely powerful in raising uh, the safety bar. Um, along with that, um, in my first three weeks, I, I made a visit out to um, uh, Seattle uh, to see for myself and to talk to uh, the team out there and actually had a conversation with one of our human factors test pilots, a uh, PhD in human factors, and asked her whether we had adequate uh, human factors expertise and whether it was embedded in our processes as effectively as it needs to be. And I learned a lot from that conversation. I think there's an opportunity for us to continue to, uh, uh, to uh, update and improve those skills in our workforce. And that's a big area of focus for me. Sir, we are particularly interested in the testimony of Dr. Ensley on the second panel dealing with the human factor involved uh, with aircraft design, certification, and operation, a topic that I've discussed with a certain friend of mine, a professor of engineering at USC Meshkati. What do you think FAA and Boeing can do better to incorporate human factors into the design and certification process of airplanes to prevent future accidents? That's a great question. I'm also interested in hearing the comments, uh, human factors comments, uh, in the second panel, and I've had a chance to read the, uh, the testimony and uh, couldn't agree more with the uh, principles that are articulated there. Uh, I think as, as cockpits become more and more uh, automated uh, over the decades, uh, the, the job of flying an airplane does not get easier, uh, it, but it, what it does is it changes the nature of, of where the threat is that needs to be mitigated. And uh, there's an issue sometimes with manual flying skills if we're operating in an automated fashion uh, too often. There's also an issue with losing situational awareness. If the, and this is, you know, you, it's impossible to engineer out human error. So as we build modern uh, airplanes, it's very important to do so in a way that keeps the pilot engaged with the flight path of the aircraft. Because ultimately, uh, flight path, managing the flight path of the aircraft, putting it where, you, where it needs to be at a, any point in time, whether it's on the ground, taxiing the airplane, or flying it in the air, it amounts to three things. And that is understanding where your airplane is supposed to be, understanding your clearance, putting the airplane there to comport with the clearance, and then making sure it stays there. And humans are not very good passive monitors. And so this is where the issues about how engaging and the, the forms of tactile feedback uh, that are presented uh, to the pilot as he or she is flying the aircraft are, are extremely important, even as flight decks become more automated in the future. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you.